Hey everybody, welcome back to High Top Living, I'm Mike. And uh, the saga continues with the Bobcat skid steer. I've been waiting several days and finally got the technician to be able to come out and help me with getting these codes straightened out and maybe get my Bobcat started. I installed the dual fuel filter kit and that didn't fix it. So I got Winchester equipment, mobile mechanic with me and we'll go out to the property here in just a few minutes and we'll see what we can get done all right we'll see you out there okay we're back we're out on the property and i have winchester equipment here we got josh who's the mechanic giving us a hand trying to figure this out so normally what you do is i take these and i turn it enough here and leave these tight leave your clamps tight see that air should go this should hold in place there and allow me to turn it it's not you want me to hold this Try. I don't think I'm going to hold it with the damn thing. I don't think you are either. There. That's it. That's all they got. It's still not fine. Huh. You want to take it off and mess yeah. with it? Yeah, let's take it off like that. My little boy, he's nine. So my, he's like, Daddy, we got to start a YouTube channel. We got to start a YouTube channel. I was like, so I started checking into uh -huh. it. And I was like, he watches YouTube all the time. And I watch and we do we do too like we watch the fails mm -hmm. and the stuff like yeah funny home videos yeah. and that type of stuff oh you should see my we can get on my channel you'll see the first one i did oh my gosh it's pretty funny so you just decided just decided why not I'm gonna, i yeah. do a lot of fly fishing so i'm trying to get it more geared towards fly fishing yeah. and, and getting the youth in, involved uh -huh. in the outdoors and that type of stuff did you just put this on here you yes. just got it yes brand new out of the box there it went. See how it's closed now? <laughs> Boy, is that you, you've seen the gap there before. I did. So you're probably sucking air right there. Mm -hmm. Honestly. This has still got me a little confused. But okay. I'm wondering if I have the destructions in my pickup or not. I think I do. So you they did come them. with them? You want them? Yeah, if you okay. want yep. to see them. Yeah, and you ran the hoses just like they said to Just like them. they told me. But I'll give it to you so you can re-verify what I did was correct. You look at that and I'll pump. more air you're losing prime here for some reason and i will tell you i've had problems with this little valve right here for the last couple weeks and i don't know why this valve right here uh -huh. it's a cold weather bypass valve okay i've had some issues with that sucker so it should when you squeeze that it should stay tight it should be fine and it's not let's uh try cranking it once okay. and see what happens Keep going. Hold up a second. Crank it once now. I just set that, so don't worry about it. Key off. Back on. You have. Uh, I seen you put a couple gallons jugs of fuel in your in your truck. Matter of fact, right here's one of those valves. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Cold weather bypass valve. <laughs> but let's try this first. Alright, let's try it again. Yep. First time it's done that? First time it started like that, yeah. There's a pickup tube in the tank. Okay. And the pickup tube could be clogged, could, more likely it's cracked and sucking air. It's either that or, or it's this cold weather bypass. See, I'm just not getting any, any, any resistance at all. Yeah. And you do have plenty of fuel in your tank, correct? Oh yeah, it's completely full. Yeah, because I filled it up and then had this issue. Got much air? Yeah, that's a lot of air. There it is, huh? Yeah, nothing. Okay. It's just it's bypassing there. See, if I so was to take this nuts here, off of here. Oh, maybe it's the main pump. Oh. No. Because it was fine when I ran it okay. into its own tank. Uh -huh. So if I take it off here, put it here. Okay. Okay, so it's in here. It's got to be this way. Yeah. All right. Problems on the other side. So I should be getting the same thing here. That. 
That was it was little left. Right. Room. Yeah, it's not even there's a, there's air somewhere. You're not gonna be able to see much down here, but Yeah, I hope that's the pickup. Because there's some of them there's two. Yeah, and the other one is on the other side of the pump, in between the pump and the engine. Ooh, yep, it's broke. That's part of the problem. That's the problem. Okay. Okay, so that's broke. So what See is there? this? Uh-huh. Go up there and squeeze on that. See if it's okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. So is there a piece broke inside the tank? Yeah, that stays in there. It doesn't it's just down the bottom of the tank. Yep. It'll whirl around, it won't hurt nothing. Yeah. Is that uh something common that breaks? Is it uh a... Yeah, it's it happens. Uh-huh. I can't say I've seen it happen a whole heck of a lot on that new of a machine. Okay. But it does happen. It does I should have had a tube on it about that long. Okay. So instead of two inches, it's more like six or eight. The tube that uh that's factory for it mm -hmm. is actually a foreign tube. Okay. So it's gonna be straight solid and mm -hmm. then there's a little screen filter on the bottom of it. Okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and clean back that dirt from that hole. Mm -hmm. This is the bugger part. This grommet here. Goodness gracious. That's the hard part. If you don't get this back down in the tank, you'll mm -hmm. see once I get it off here. It'll go back together easy. There we go. There it is. That grommet. That clamp will come with mm -hmm. the new line. So basically, that's got to go down the tank first. Mm -hmm. Tube will go on. Okay. Tube will slide down through here. Mm -hmm. And then once that's in the tank, you just take and kind of put your palm on that and just go, and it'll go right back down okay. in there. But if you was to try to put this in first mm -hmm. and then push it all back down in there, here, it ain't going to yeah. go. You're right, because it's got to go see. Okay. Yeah, it's got to have the, uh, I don't want to say expansion, the tre retraction of going down inside right. that tank. And then right. you put, okay, got And it. then that expands it. And, yep, and then it holds it all holds and it keeps all. it all sealed up. Okay. Well, if you want me to just get you one and order it, have it sent to you? Mm-hmm. You can call shop anyways, right? Yeah. See if they have any in stock, and if they do, then I'll, um, then I'll get it. So then the tube will go on. Mm-hmm. There's going to be either a little screen or a little filter or a check valve, maybe even a check valve at the end of that tube. Mm -hmm. And then that whole thing's going to go back down in, just push it into the palm. Take that hose, put back on there, put the clamp on, prime it up, and it should start. Okay. Perfect. My souvenir. Okay, there goes Winchester equipment. It's raining. If we got her figured out, so I'll make sure I post all this information. Hurricane's coming in. We're done. So today we're gonna go ahead and fix my bobcat. Okay. So what we'll do now is I'm gonna show you those parts. We'll get started on getting this thing repaired and hopefully get it started. I'm hoping that all these videos help you guys out as you watch them. I didn't see any videos of this specific issue or something similar other than one video, which I will put down in the comments for you so you can watch that video. Let's pull those parts out, take a look at them. Finally got the parts in. This is your pickup tube. All right, so on part of this, I didn't say anything on my video, so I thought I'd better go ahead and explain a little bit of this. Those are clamps that need to be clamped on there, and I wanna let you know that I had to reshoot this because when I put it together the first time, I did not put the clamps on. So I took it all apart and reshot this for you so you could see me putting the clamps on there with the pickup tube and everything that goes along with it. One thing I do wanna mention is I did not get a video of me pushing this down into the tank. So my apologies, but you did get the explanation. I think uh, anybody with some common sense can see that it's not too hard slide that down in there if you need to back up the video a little bit and you'll listen to Josh as he tells you exactly how to put this together if I can do it you can do it it's not that hard you see I almost screwed up again I almost did not put that clamp on for some reason that day was not a good day for me for clamps but I went ahead and put the whole assembly together got it all the way it's supposed to be and I was able to successfully get it into the tank so I wanted to show this, it's kind of important. These actuators here, there's a little lock right there and that is what releases the actuator so you can put the cab down. It's a safety. The cab is not that heavy, by the way, guys. It's very, very easy to put down. So yes, I did put the uh, nuts on there. Uh, next, uh, I just wanted to show a little bit of this, what I had to do. So this is a primer pump. I primed that bad boy up and got into the cab and guess what? Battery's dead. Oh my gosh. So if it's not one thing, it's another. I thought I was so close. <laughs> you can see me and if you can hear me say that. Another. So got the pickup, got to start it, got over there, got the clamps. By the way, it is not fun to put that positive um, clamp on that terminal in that battery. 
And you can see that there's a raindrop right there on the screen. Didn't see that as I'm doing this. I had my headphones on. So it, it was kind of a mess. I apologize for the camera a little bit, but ta-da! And we got her started. So there you go, guys. I was able to get it done. It just took a little bit. We got her going. So there we go. So lesson learned. Uh, sorry if my hair's all messed up. That code that I'm showing you, E000157, could be several things. Dirty fuel, fuel filter clog, pinched line, or it could be the pickup tube. So in my case, just as a recap, it was the pickup tube. It broken off, fell off something. Hopefully I've saved you money and you don't have to pay a service tech to come out and troubleshoot. Thanks for watching guys. Whew. Time to go to work. I'm gonna clean this place up more. I'll keep on videotaping. If you like the videos, I guess the new thing is to smash the like button and crush the subscribe button. Peace out.